Hello everyone, we would like to welcome you to our video channel. We are the Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County, a United Way nonprofit agency. We would love for you to watch our videos, to like them, to share them, and to subscribe. Thank you. Hello again. My name is Miss Jody and I'm with the Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County. And this time I'm going to tell you a story that you may know. And you've met this bear. His name is Paddington. And he was found in a railroad station in London, England. And he had this tag. It says, please look after this bear. Thank you. And that's all it said. So Mr. and Mrs. Brown met this bear Paddington at the, at the railway station. And the name of the station is Paddington. So they decided that would be a good name for this bear because he didn't know who he was. So it says, Mr. and Mrs. Brown first met Paddington on a railway platform. In fact, that was how he came to have such an unusual name for Bear, because Paddington was the name of the station. The Browns were waiting to meet their daughter Judy when Mr. Brown noticed something small and furry near the left luggage office. The left luggage means somebody who forgot to pick up their suitcase. It looks like a bear, he said. A bear, said Mrs. Brown? In Paddington Station? Don't be silly, Henry. That can't be. But Mr. Brown was right. It was sitting on an old leather suitcase marked Wanted on Voyage. And as they drew near, it stood and politely raised his hat. He had this beautiful hat. Now in the picture, he's wearing a blue coat and a red hat, but my bear happens to have a red coat. Okay. Good afternoon, he said. May I help you? Very kind of you, said Mr. Brown, but as a matter of fact, we are wondering if we could help you. You're a very small bear, said Mrs. Brown. Where are you from? The bear looked around carefully before replying, Darkest Peru. I'm not really supposed to be here at all. I'm a stowaway. Now, a stowaway is somebody who hides inside a dark place and goes someplace by mistake or because nobody knew he was there. You don't mean to say you came all the way from South America on your own, exclaimed Mrs. Brown. Whatever did you do for food? Unlocking his suitcase, the bear took out an almost empty glass jar. I ate marmalade, he said. Bears like marmalade. Mrs. Brown looked at the label around on the bear's neck and it said, right here, please look after this bear, thank you. So that's all he had was a jar of marmalade. Can you imagine coming from, that's in South America, he came all that way to London with just a jar of marmalade. Oh, Henry, she cried, we can't leave him here all by himself. There's no knowing what'll happen to him. Can he come home with us? Stay with us, asked Mr. Brown. He looked down at the bear. Um, would you like to do that? He asked. That is, he said hastily, if you have nothing else planned. Oh, yes, cried the bear. I would like that very much. I have nowhere to go, and everyone seems to be in such a hurry. That settles it, said Mrs. Brown. Now you must get thirsty after your journey. Mr. Brown, can you get some tea while I go meet our daughter, Judy? But Mary, said Mr. Brown, we don't even know its name. Mrs. Brown thought for a moment, I know, we'll call him Paddington after the station. Paddington, the bear tested it for a few times to make sure. It sounds very important. Mr. Brown tried it out next. Follow me, Paddington. I'll take you to the snack bar. Mrs. Brown was as good as her word. Paddington had never had so many snacks on one tray and he didn't know which to try first. He was so hungry and so thirsty he climbed up into the table to get a really look. Mr. Brown turned away pretending he had tea with a bear at Paddington Station every day of his life. Henry, cried Mrs. Brown when she arrived with Judy. What are you doing to that poor bear? Paddington jumped up to raise his hat and in his haste, he slipped on a giant strawberry tart, skidded on the cream and knocked over backward in his cup of tea. I think we better go before anything else happens, said Mr. Brown. Judy took a hold of Paddington's paw. Come along, she said, we'll take you home and you can meet Mrs. Bird. Now Mrs. Bird helps take care of their house. 
And she said, and my brother, Jonathan. Mr. Brown led the way to the waiting taxi. Number 32, Windsor Garden, please, he said to the taxi driver. The driver looked at Paddington. Bears is extra, he said. Sticky bears twice as much. And make sure nothing comes off in my interior. It was clean when I set out this morning. The sun was shining as they drove out of the station. And there were cars and big red buses everywhere. In London, there are a lot of very big red buses. Paddington waved to some of the people waiting at a bus stop, and several of them waved back. It was all very friendly. Paddington tapped the taxi driver on the shoulder. It isn't a bit like Dark's Peru, he announced. The man jumped at the sound of Paddington's voice. Cream, he said bitterly. Cream and jam, all over my coat. He slid a window behind him and he shut it. In the taxis in London, they have little windows between the driver and the people in the back. Oh dear, Henry, murmured Mr. Brown. I wonder if we're doing the right thing. Fortunately, before anyone had a time to answer, they arrived at Windsor Gardens, and that's where they lived, and Judy held Paddington onto the pavement. Now you're going to be Mrs. Bird, she said. She looks after us, and she's a bit fierce sometimes, but she doesn't really mean it. I'm sure you're going to like her. Paddington felt his knees begin to wobble. I'm sure I shall if you say so, he replied. I think, will she like me? So they walked in. Good gracious, said Mrs. Bird. What have you there? It's not a what, said Judy. It's a bear called Paddington. And he's coming to stay with us. A bear, said Mrs. Bird. As Paddington raised his hat. See how polite he is. Well, he has good manners, I'll say for that. I'm afraid I stepped in jam and tart by mistake, he said. I can see that, said Mrs. Byrne. You better have a bath before you get much older. Judy, turn it on for me. I dare say you'll be wanting some marmalade too. I think she liked you, whispered Judy. Now that's where we're gonna to stop today. And I will read you the rest of Paddington Bear the next time and all of his adventures. And we'll find out Paddington does get in a lot of trouble. Can imagine he had all that cream and all that marmalade and stuff in his hair. And he's a very interesting bear, but he's so polite and he loves everybody and everybody loves Paddington. So I will next time, I'll tell you the rest of the story about Mr. Paddington Bear. Thank you for coming.